Hey everyone, how's it going? Master Bear here with another video that's a little bit different than what I usually do. This video, as the title says, is about attack in Monster Hunter World. Over the past week, I've been trying to figure out exactly what skills, items, effects, etc., how they affect the displayed damage value, and just what order they occur in the final calculation of your displayed damage value. I couldn't find any references to calculation order online, so I made one just for you guys. Before we start, I want to let you all know that I won't be discussing motion values or affinity, as these both deal with the damage you deal to a monster in conjunction with a monster's weaknesses, and don't actually affect your displayed damage value. Also, all of the information I display, if it's in a chart or there's a visual attached, I'll link the time it appears in the description. So, let's begin. I'm going to lay out a few ground rules that are important to the calculation. Rule 1, calculations are performed on the raw stat, not the displayed damage value. Rule 2, always multiply your new raw before adding to your new raw, in cases where order of application doesn't matter. And Rule 3, never round your result until immediately before applying your weapon type multiplier and immediately after applying it. Now that that's out of the way, first I need to talk about raw damage. This is not the same as your displayed damage value. If you're a veteran of the series, or you watch a lot of videos about the mechanics of Monster Hunter, you've probably come across the term before. I won't go into too much detail about raw damage, as there are already plenty of other videos that discuss it. But basically all you need to know is that your weapon's raw damage gets multiplied by your weapon's type multiplier to arrive at your displayed damage value. You can see each weapon's type multiplier in this chart. So why do we care about our raw stat? Well, we have to know the raw stat because all of your calculations are done to it. So basically, converting to raw is step one of your calculations always. I'll use the Extermination's Edge Longsword as an example. It has a displayed damage value of 693, which when divided by 3.3 becomes 210 raw. Next, I'll talk about a special little armor skill called Bludgeoner. Bludgeoner is a skill from the Diablos armor set, and it works when your weapon's sharpness reaches green or below. The increases to attack can be seen in this chart. The skill is always added to your raw stat before any other calculations, with no exceptions from what I've found. From here on out, our calculations are performed on what I will call your new raw. If Extermination's Edge goes down to yellow sharpness, we add 25 to our raw of 210 to get 235. These next skills and effects are bounded only by Rule 2, Multiplication Before Addition, so the final result isn't influenced by the order. These skills and effects include Hunting Horn Attack Up buffs, the Palico's Coral Cheer Horn Attack Up buff, Armor skills, obviously excluding Bludgeoner, and food skills, as well as the evasion mantle. You can see how much each of these affect the new raw stat in this chart. A few important things to note here, the Feline Heroic's food skill and the Heroic's armor skill do not stack with one another. However, for Feline Heroic's to activate, you have to be ridiculously close to death, whereas for Heroic's to activate, you only need to be below 35% health, despite a potentially tiny bit less damage. For obvious reasons, peak performance should never be active while Heroics is active. I say should because someone will probably find some way of doing it. Another thing to note here is that Fortify works by addition, not multiplication. What I mean by this is that after you die the first time, your damage increases by 10%. However, the second time you die, Fortify does not multiply itself by 1.1, so you don't get a 21% damage increase. You add the two 10%s together to get 20%. It's a minor difference, but it's important because I initially thought that it was 1.2, but when I was m multiplying them to test it out, 1.1 times 1.1 is actually 1.21, so I thought maybe that was influencing my final raw in some way, but it actually wasn't. Also, you can see here the evasion mantle gives you a 30% increase, which is pretty big. Now, for the hunting horn attack up buffs, the small, large, and extra large, you can see for level 1 and level 2, the black coloring is for the small buff, so if you have a hunting horn that gives you attack up small, using it the first time will give you 1.1 times, and using it the second time will actually give you 1.15. The red is for the large, so if you have a hunting horn that has large by default, 
the first time you use it, it will give you 1.15, and the second time that you use it, it will actually give you 1.2 or 20% extra damage. So if we had attack boost level 3, heroics level 3, and cool cat was active, we would first multiply 235 by 1.15 for our heroics to get 270.25 before adding in plus 9 for attack boost level 3 and another plus 15 for cool cat, which brings our new raw up to 294.25. Now we move to more unordered buffs. This category includes food effects, consumables, and held items, which are your power charm and power talent. Here's the chart. Note here that all of these are additions, so order truly doesn't matter. Another fun thing about this category is that basically everyone already knows these values, and there are a lot of videos dedicated to this group of items alone. Assuming we left camp with our power charm and power talent equipped, and we got a bit hungry and ate a mite seed, our new raw would go from 294.25 up to 319.25. This is the last skill or effect based category and it deals with the weapon you choose. No, it's not the weapon type multiplier like you're thinking. It actually deals with boosts that a few weapons get for being so cool. The three weapons it affects are the hammer, long sword, and the switch axe, but only in special cases. Here's the chart. As you can see, the hammer gives a small boost but the longsword gives you a reason to reach for the red spirit gauge. A massive 20% increase in damage is huge considering this is the last calculation before our weapon type multiplier is applied. That 20% here is more of an increase than heroics level 4 applied back at the beginning. Finally, we can see that power file switch axes are a bit special as they get a hefty 17% increase when in sword mode. Say we were in the yellow, our new raw would jump from 319.25 up to 351.175 after that 10% increase. Alright, and now we're ready to factor back in our weapon type multiplier. But before we do that, we need to round our new raw. 351.175 rounds down to 351, which is easy enough. Here's the weapon type multiplier chart one more time. After multiplying 351 by 3.3, we arrive at our almost final displayed damage value of 1158.3. Remember rule number 3 from the beginning of the video? We still have to round down for a final displayed damage value of 1158, a massive 67% increase of our base displayed damage value to our new displayed damage value. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, comment with your favorite builds to play, and let me know if I missed any skills or effects. I'd also like to see what sort of massive damage numbers you guys can come up with. That's it for now. I'll see you later.